Hi, Tom Trento, Director of the United West, with another investigative segment of our work. This time, it's May 2011, Los Angeles County. We took a team of about five people to a Sheriff Leroy Baca town hall meeting, get this, at the Islamic Center of Southern California. We're going to tell you about that fun place in another segment. But today, we went to this town hall meeting that had about 10 different agencies, including the FBI, Homeland Security, and the LAPD. Our desire was to evaluate the level of the infiltration of the Muslim Brotherhood. Did you get that? The infiltration of the Muslim Brotherhood and the law enforcement community of Los Angeles. And this piece, in the next few minutes, you're going to see the degree to which the Brotherhood has infiltrated the LA law enforcement community. Uh, the setting is a Q&A time and one of our outstanding investigative analysts, Mr. Alan Kornman, posed a fiscal question to a police officer. Now, the whole thesis of this day was that the, uh, the LA law enforcement community was reaching out to the Muslim community, and they have a special Muslim public affairs unit that does this. Well, Alan wanted to know where the money came from. Watch this question. Um, it appears that just by tax dollars alone that the Muslim Affairs Unit is getting or receiving taxpayer accommodations that other religious groups are not, uh, not privy to or not, uh, they're being excluded, not getting equal access to these taxpayer funded dollars. Is there a Christian, Jewish, Buddhist, other religious community affairs unit that is getting, receiving tax dollars? Thank you. Uh, short answer, yes, we do have uh, advisory councils and other programs for every ethnic minority and majority in L.A. County. We which one, I'm sorry, which ones in particular? Uh, Sikhs for one. Sikhs for one, Asian, Latino, uh, Jewish, uh, African American. So we do have them, they do exist. Clergy, multi-faith. Multi-faith clergy council. We have several programs, not just the Muslim community. Are they all receiving equal tax dollars? Yes, they are. Equal? Yes, they are. I got to admit, Alan, that uh, police officers seemed very uncomfortable with your systematic line of questioning. Could you tell us who that gentleman is and what you were trying to do? And by the way, great to have you with us today. Tom, thank you very much for having me here. That was Deputy Sharif Morrissey, full-time deputy for the community, Muslim Community Affairs Unit's unit of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Well, hold on, hold on. The LAPD has a specific unit dedicated to Muslim affairs? That is correct, and they have two full-time deputies as well, of which Sheriff Morrissey is one. I'm a Christian. Do they have a Christian public affairs unit? Well, our research said that there was not one. That was confirmed with Steve Whitmore of the LA uh, media supervisor, who said, quote, there are no other religious community affairs units within the LA Sheriff's Department. Okay, that would then mean that you're Jewish, if I understand correctly. Is there a Jewish public affairs unit in Los Angeles? Not to our knowledge. Okay, but he went on to say, this officer, that all of these were funded equally? Yeah, uh, Deputy Morrissey employed a very interesting trick of obfuscation. He said that there were advisory boards that were receiving equal funding as the Muslim Community Affairs Unit. I want that explained because... I doubt the veracity of that comment. Yeah, you as an investigator need to get to the bottom of that so that the taxpayer understands how the money's being used. And that's what we're doing, folks, at the United West, trying to expose impropriety, if it's there, with taxpayer money to focus on a unique group, in this case, the Islamic community in Los Angeles County. Let's take a look at uh, Alan as he, as he moves toward more penetrating questions with this police officer after the formal meeting ended and he had time to catch up with him afterwards. Watch this piece. 
Uh, I wanted to follow up on the Muslim Brotherhood question about the activity. I'm not here. To, I'm not, I don't oh, I know. I'm just curious. No, no, no. I'm going to answer your question. Don't tell me. I'm just curious. I don't work terrorism. That's not my function. We're here for engagement work. Okay. Community engagement, community policing. I don't deal with terrorism. I'm not going to make any comments on terrorism. Okay. Muslim Brotherhood. All right. So like I said, there's, a, you know, like one of the gentlemen said, there's a lot of so-called experts out of the field right. uh, that speak on this issue. And you're not one of them. I am not one of them. One. Okay. So you are with the Muslim community. Affairs Unit. Yes, sir. Full time. Full time. Okay. Now, what exactly? Because I was, as I was asking before, is there a Christian community community affairs unit specifically for other religions? Or is this the only? I already one? mentioned them to you earlier. Which uh, ones? Because I looked on the internet, I couldn't find. They're there. They're there. I can't name off all of them because I don't work directly with them. Yeah. Like I said, we have Latino, we have Asian, we have African American. Community affairs units are full time. They might have a different name, but they are there. Alan, I, I have to uh, congratulate you on a, on a very sort of Socratic approach to trying to get to the bottom of something, but I don't think you did. Tell us what happened. Well, Deputy Morrissey clearly established that he is not a terrorism expert or an expert on the Muslim Brotherhood, yet our research showed that he was born in Egypt, the home of the Muslim Brotherhood. Okay, so he knows nothing about terrorism, and one of the issues of the day uh, this town hall meeting was the issue of terrorism, and he's appointed by Sheriff Baca to be on this Muslim public affairs thing, but knows nothing about terrorism. Folks, something doesn't smell right in Los Angeles County. That's why we're doing this kind of work. One of the other officials that was at this town hall meeting represented the state's attorney's office, the legal end of things. Watch as Allen catches up with this gentleman and starts asking a very intelligent lawyer some very simple questions. Clarification, is there a Christian community affairs unit, a Jewish, a Sikh, uh, are all the other religions being treated equally with U.S. tax dollars from a civil rights perspective only? I, I, being that that's a, the county sheriff, I, I work for the state attorney general's office. We, we don't well, this is a, a state issue because... It would be, it would be yeah, if there do you was... Find that, do you find it concerning in any way when you look at it from that perspective? Um, no. Yeah, I was just looking, I'm, no, like I'm looking said, at it purely civil rights, but um, I'm getting the sense that you don't find anything wrong with it. Um, no, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know what kind of spending they have. I don't know what kind of checks they have on the spending. If there's a budget item, or this is just part of community outreach. Right. Okay. Uh, Would that be a civil rights issue from a legal standpoint if that was the case? You know, I don't know what what the claim would be. I don't know what you're what you're, what you're saying. That well, it'd be tax you know, dollars going to one religion like, over another, basically marginalizing the civil rights of other religions. Because if you're going to give taxpayer money specifically to one religion over another, then you're accommodating one religion above another, and that to me is a pure civil rights issue. I I'm not going to speculate on what that would be or not. Would that be problematic from a civil rights issue, from as you know the law, uh, as just, it stands uh, on the books? Uh, uh, I, I don't have any, I'm not going to comment on a hypothetical one. That it's not hypothetical. Uh, okay, Alan, help us again. Everybody's slipping and sliding. What just happened? Well, Mr. Newman, who is the prosecutor for the Civil Rights Division for the state of California, seemed clearly uncomfortable at my line of questioning regarding the civil rights of the Muslim Community Affairs Unit with taxpayer dollars accommodating one religion, Muslim, over all others. All right, that raises another issue. All right, folks, to, to bring all of this together, we were there to determine the level of infiltration that the Muslim Brotherhood has in the law enforcement community in Los Angeles. By their own testimony, we saw that day the law enforcement community is in bed with the Muslim Brotherhood. Now we're looking at the flow of tax dollars to fund this Muslim public affairs group. But in Allen's questioning of the state's attorney official, we're now seeing the possibility of a violation of the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment. So, Allen, you've opened a huge can of worms. Where are you taking this investigation from here? Well, this investigation is going to be ongoing. We determine 
that uh, roughly $128,000 of taxpayer money was going to fund the Muslim Community Affairs Unit on a per annum basis. Oh, 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 oh. how'd you determine that? Uh, Steve Whitmore, once again, gave us that information as well. And how'd you come by that? I mean, did tell the other viewers how that process occurred. It was a two-week process of numerous phone calls, numerous emails, and finally, through persistence, uh, they gave us that public information. Luckily, they didn't force us to file a Freedom of Information Act. Did you feel that the Los Angeles law enforcement community, in this case the sheriff's office, was uh, forthcoming with this information? Uh, no, not at first, but they did come through with the information, and I thank them for that. But now we need a, a forensic audit to see where the money's coming from, why it's being funneled through an emergency, an emergency unit within the LAPD, which has nothing to do with the community policing that Sheriff Baca prides himself on so much. Let me understand this for our viewers now. Uh, there's, there's hundreds of thousands of dollars that are funding that you've discovered so far. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. And some of it's coming from their federal dollars, is that what you said? Quite possibly. That's why we need the taxpayers in L.A. County and frankly the rest of the country to demand, to demand a forensic audit so we can find out what's going on and put this issue to bed. Okay, well, um, you continue with it. Be sure to bring the information back. We'll get it out to the viewers, folks. We are looking at the Los Angeles County law enforcement community from the FBI to Homeland Security to the Sheriff Baca's uh, Sheriff Division to the Los Angeles Police Department to the State's Attorney's Office. And it ain't looking too good as it relates to the favoritism, both organizationally and fiscally, of this Muslim Public Affairs Unit. Something stinks in Los Angeles County. We will get to the bottom of it. And if you can, Help us with your donations to continue this work because we're busting the jihad in the United States of America. We're exposing the Muslim Brotherhood so that we can stand firmly on the principles of the United States Constitution. Thank you. See you soon.